Hi guys, welcome back. Time for another fragrance review. Today I'll be reviewing Odori's Quio. This fragrance was created in 2008 and the nose behind it is Enzo Gallardi. It's classified as a leather. Now, Quio is Italian for leather and this one is a little bit different from your birch tar leather or your suederol all leather like Tuscan leather. This one is more of an artist's rendition of leather. The texture of leather, how leather wears, the feelings you get from leather, more so than an actual leather note. When I first spray this on, I get a very n nicely done orange note with a little bit of ginger. Not too long afterward, maybe within five minutes, you start to get a rendition of a brown leather belt. Not the shiny, well-dressed brown leather belt, but more of a, a rawhide edged brown leather belt. It's rough, it's been weathered, it smells very similar to a suede. If you've ever walked into a leather goods store and walked up to the, the leather belt rack, you'll understand exactly how the, the opening smells to this. After about an hour, it doesn't change very much but you get a very soapy, smooth suede. And it really doesn't change much from there. This is very different. I think you, you really need to smell this scent many more times than, than, than a handful and, and to really understand what's going on in it. I, I think to, to automatically dismiss it after maybe one or two cents is a mistake. This one retailed for, for quite a bit. I, I think they wanted about $210 plus tax. And for me, it's not worth even close to that much. I think if you could get this for anywhere between 60 and maybe $90, it would be worth it. It's certainly not like any other leather you've smelled. It's not like any other leather I've smelled. I think if you enjoy scents like Prada's Infusion Dome and Mugler Cologne, you'll enjoy the, the soapiness of this scent. It's very clean smelling. It's very friendly. It's not off-putting, but it is a little harsh, very close to the nose. If you were to spray your hand and put your nose right next to your hand, you'd probably be put off by it. But the sillage is very nice. It smells much different uh, far, far away than it does up close. I get very good longevity out of this. I get easily eight hours every time I wear it. I only wear two sprays. The atomizer doesn't put out a lot. So really three sprays equals about two out of a normal atomizer. So feel free to, to spray this a little bit more than you usually would. For me, the stars of the composition are a very rich, lathered hotel soap. Brown leather, like I mentioned, is more of a rawhide leather than a, a, a polished, finished leather. I get a little bit of nice honey in there, ginger, and a 50-50 a mix of a very refined patchouli, and a very smooth vetiver. The quality of the ingredients used in this really can't be compared. It, it, there, there is no comparison. It, very, very high quality ingredients used. I really have no complaints about it. Maybe other than the leather 
for a, a leather named fragrance isn't stronger but in terms of what Enzo Gallardi has done here with simulating a leather without actually using a leather compound or ingredient like birch tar or castorium or suederol uh, I think he really hit it out of the park it's certainly gonna not overlap much with anything else you own unless you own a lot of soapy scents so if you haven't smelled this one I, I suggest giving it a look see if you can find some samples I picked up this bottle on beauty beauty spin for sixty dollars and I feel like it's definitely worth that amount I don't think they have any more left at this point but they could be restocked so keep your eye out this is this scent along with uh, many other old dories has been discontinued and the house is no longer in business it was part of the Bois 1920 company and uh, they axed the Odori so please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching